Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanguard Zombies, and the trash fire continues as um, more is discovered about this game mode and how just bad it is. Uh, first thing I want to quickly talk about um, is the uh, Dark Ether camo. So let's just uh, go into my camouflage menu here, and uh, yep, this is Dark Ether. This is it. Now, in case you can't remember, this is what it looked like in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And this is what it looks like in Vanguard. Yes, um, what a fucking disappointment this is. Now, actually, I do like the um, Plague Diamond infinitely more in this game than I did in Cold War. Cold War looked so bad. This It looks pretty good. You know, I like it. I like the detail in it. Um, it does look a little, tr like, shitty, the diamond bit, but, you know, it's diamond camo. Uh, it's always going to look a little shitty. Um, and, of course, Golden Viper looks alright. It looks okay. <laughs> Not very gold. It's more of, it's more Red Viper, or, like, Copper Viper, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but this is just bad. It's so bad. Anyway, so we're going to join a game of solo zombies. Um, now, they actually moved um, all of these servers in Vanguard Zombies to dedicated servers. So, uh, it's not peer-to-peer, -peer, it's dedicated, which uh, means you'll get better connections and, and the game should be a lot more stable. Um, and there's a bunch of improved security um, on dedicated servers. But also, all of the solo matches are, are on dedicated servers. Um, which means, if I was to um, need to take a shit, or like, you know, get the door, or, or I just want to go eat lunch or something, and I pause the game. Um, well, the game just continues. Um, which, if you can remember back to Cold War, was an issue... Uh, in that game too when the game launched, but they patched it. Uh, I guess they forgot to <laughs> include that patch into the new one, in the Vanguard Zombies. It's absolutely insane, the amount of features they've forgotten that they added in Cold War that they just forgot about for this one. Um, and something as simple as just pausing the game in solo um, is just not included, which is insane. Also, because this is hosted on a dedicated server, um, it's not locally run. Uh, you actually have a ping in solo, um, which is ridiculous. If you have shitty internet, you're gonna you, you could be kicked from your own solo game. Uh, also, if you stand still for three minutes, you just get kicked. If you pause the game for three minutes, you just get kicked. In a solo match, in an offline solo match, that is. That is not okay, especially in 2021. Games have gotten past this now. It, it, this is also a AAA game. A very expensive AAA game. It's insane. Uh, anyways, um, let's go find the rest of these zombies. Uh, I don't even know where they are. Maybe there aren't. I don't think there are any zombies. I think we have to open up some more of the map to... Oh god, to uh, to progress to progress in the rounds. Um, let's do that. All right. Um, so there still is no secondary like side Easter egg found because there isn't one. I guarantee it. There isn't a side Easter egg. People are holding out hope, hoping that they find one, but I doubt it. Uh, there are. Um, Intel boxes and stuff you can find. Let's see if we can find one here uh, in this room. Um, but there is no like it, once you've collected them, it doesn't save them to um, any side menu or anything. Okay, why did he close the door? Um, yeah, so they don't save to any side menu. 
So you can only listen to them in game. You can't like go back to them later. So if you're playing co-op and you have noisy friends and you you care about the lore and they don't and they're talking over it, you can't go back and uh, re-listen to it. Uh, let's grab. Actually, I'm gonna keep the throwing knives. Um, it is nice that they included lore. That is pretty cool. Um, I hope they keep adding more and more lore, because I am interested in the Dark Aether storyline. Um, they took a very strange direction with it in um, Vanguard, but I liked what they did with Cold War. And I think they can continue going, keep it going, whatever. Alright, guy, please just let me get into the loading screen. Also, someone pointed out that... Um, this teleport effect is the exact same one from Cold War. They've just made it red, uh, so that's kind of kind of lazy, I think. They did reuse quite a few assets from Cold War, um, like all of the uh, power ups and the mystery box. I believe the pack a punch is also just the same. Um, Would have been cool if they had a um, horror. You know, uh, inspired remake, I guess, of those things. Um, like, I like how they, uh, in um, Black Ops 3 Zombies, they like changed the way the mystery box looked on, on all the different maps. Um, let's actually spin the mystery box. Okay. Not. Horrible. Actually, is kind of horrible. Uh, so let's go do another challenge. Uh, I'm gonna try and get to round five for this video, and then I'm gonna uh, exfil. Um, I don't really feel like going to a high round. It's too boring. Someone did actually get to round 100 though. Um, pretty recently. I think it was like yesterday or something. Uh, from when I'm recording this, uh, they got to round 100, and the um, round icons actually break at round 100. So once you get to round 100, it says you're on round 10, but with spaces in between the numbers. Uh, I'll put a picture on screen of what it looks like, uh, if I remember anyways. Um, oh, let's get stamina up, or whatever this is supposed to be. So strange how the first time you buy it, it's free. Increase critical damage. So it's not stamina up. It's like double tap, maybe. Um, at least like the uh, Black Ops 2 onwards double tap when it increased your bullet damage and fire rate. Anyways, let's go ex uh, escort this head. Um, such a strange <laughs> objective to, to do. Um, I kind of wish they stuck with the, like, military uh, aesthetic um, a little bit more. Where you're, like, like special ops um, going into these, like, zombie scenarios and trying to stop it. Um, I don't really know what the lore is with this, uh, this map. I guess we're just sort of here. Uh, are we in, like, the Dark Aether right now? Or is this reality? Or like our universe? I don't know. I did watch the cutscene uh, when the game first came out. But I can't remember. Because honestly, I was so disappointed that um, I just didn't look into the lore. Like, why should I? Um, Let's go around and kill some of these zombies to build us some points. So we can upgrade the MP40. I want to use the MP40 throughout this entire match. Just so I can level it up. Um, and unlock camos. In in Cold War I did get Dark Aether. And um, I was really excited for the Dark Aether grind in this one. But I don't know if I'm going to do it because it looks so bad. I don't know, maybe. They could always update the Dark Aether camo. Because they've done that before. 
Um, I think Black Ops 4 um, had a really shitty, like, um, Max Camo, and they remade it. Let's go over here and clear up these guys. So we get some more points. And that's all of the zombies on the map dead. So um, now we just have to go into one of these portals again. Okay, let's do this one over here. Oh, well, let's get Jug first. And then I'm going to buy it again. Yeah. Um, oh, Shino Numa. Hell yeah. The only good thing about this, this map is the partial remake of Shino Numa. Um, so let's wait for this loading screen. It's going to take a minute because... It's a new map. Alright, let's do this. Come on ahead. Take me to where you're going. I don't like how the zombies drop ammo randomly uh, on the early rounds. I feel like that should be reserved for special infected. Like elite zombies, whatever they're called in the name of God. Nope, my uh. I just kept on shooting there. Where are you taking me, Orb? Um, I don't know if the explosive zombies are classified as elite zombies in this, but if they are, they're such such an annoying elite zombie. Not as bad as um, the machine gun zombies, though. That, that is the worst. Hands down the worst. Okay, so I think we're at the end now. Yep. Nice, we leveled up our gun. At least something good is going to come out of this match. See if we can find some lore real quick. We found some lore! Oh, okay, I guess we don't listen to it. We don't get to. And of course, we can't go back and listen to it through the main menu because they just it didn't add that feature. Because why would you add quality of life things from the last one? The last zombies game. I hate the explosive ones. Uh, we do have a little loot thing here. Uh, monkey bombs. Very nice. And we can almost pack a punch. Oh, he just kept on making noise after I killed him. Um, yeah, we still can't pack a punch. Let's just go straight into this challenge. I love the M1 Grand animations. They're so good. Alright. This one's my least favourite uh, challenge out of all of them. Uh, it's just sort of tedious, especially once you've done it a few times. Um, and you can't, like, kill the zombies outside of the purple barrier. Otherwise you don't get any uh, totems. The totems of disappointment. I hear one of the explosive ones. I'll take care of <laughs> take care. That takes care of him. Jesus, I can't talk. 
Um, also, uh, someone's already gotten the max amount of points, which is uh, one off, one point off a million. So it's 999,999. No, I, I messed that up. I'm too sleepy, okay? It's just one off a million. You can figure out the number in your own head. Because I can't, I'm too dumb. So the next one is over here. Oh, we already had a few. Oh, Christ. Um, if you do die, if you do go down, um, and you're not level like 53, so you can't buy um, self revive things, don't really worry about it because. Um, around round 5 you get another one. Um, not always, but most of the time you do, so do not worry about it. Let's get the stamina up. I need some explosive ones. Let's finish this off. And then just wait for the loading screen, I guess. Because... Because reasons. Because they don't know how to design a zombies map anymore. Remember, demons, not to bite the hens that feed you. I've heard that line so many times, it's so annoying. Special forces. When you leave the battle, I believe you call it X Phil. That option is now open. Okay, that's X Phil. Let's do it. We can pretty quickly clean this up. I don't think um minigun zombies have spawned in there. I think I might have been wrong about that. I think it's round six. Oh no, I'm, I was right. It is round five. Oh shit. Okay, he's a lot stronger than me. Uh, we do have the um, fire circle thing, so never mind actually, but we take care of takes care of everything for me. Okay. Uh, so I'm not timed. There's no real sense of urgency really. Um, when you're taking down the final uh, group of zombies. And we're unlocking camos, which is nice. Four more zombies. Alright, now let's go. Let's skid out of all. So this bit's timed. Um. Again, I kind of wish like it wasn't you go to a tele uh, a portal. I wish it was like you know, a helicopter or like an SUV drives by and you got to get on. I prefer the military. Like whole aspect of um, of Cold War, rather than just the random portals. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.